medicine in ancient India. A doctor's daily diary. Field of medicine is highly regarded in India since the ancient times. It may be fair to say that ancient Indians and Greeks borrowed and absorbed medical knowledge and practice from each other in before Christ era. There were hospitals and clinics to treat sick humans as well as animals during Mauryan Emperor Ashoka's time, 273 BCE to 232 BCE. There were facilities for labor and delivery. In Pataliputra, present-day Patna, 2nd century BCE, there were separate medical facilities to treat the royalty. Malaria, dysenteries, cholera, smallpox, typhoid, leprosy, tuberculosis used to terrorize ancient India from time to time. Eminent doctors like Charaka, Shushruta, Madhava and Vagbhata not only practiced medicine but also kept to writing about various diseases and their treatment aspects. Shushruta, Charaka and Bheda Samhitas were the solid foundations of ancient Indian medical practices. Shushruta's work was translated into Arabic and Persian during the 8th to 11th century ACE. The Shishrata Samhita provided details regarding perioperative care, complications, diet, so on and so forth. Shishrata was a pioneer plastic and reconstructive surgeon and championed reconstructive rhinoplasty. He may be the first true plastic surgeon in the whole wide world. Various medical historian pundits have put their time somewhat differently as follows. Charaka, 1st century BCE to 1st century ACE. Shushruta, 3rd to 4th century ACE. Madhava and Vagbhata, 7th to 8th century ACE. More than 2000 years ago, the knowledge and teachings of ancient Indian medicine spread like wildfire to the neighboring southeastern and far eastern countries like Indonesia, Japan and Tibet, just to name a few. The practice and teachings of Indian medicine spread as far as Europe via Persia and Arabia during the 8th to 11th century ACE medieval times. Charaka and Shushrata were considered as the founders of rational medicine in India. Atreya was their mentor. Charaka Samhita and Shushruta Samhita, written in Sanskrit, are considered as the finest Indian medical and surgical documents, respectively, of the rational age. Charaka wrote extensively about hospital system. Indian surgery reached its climax during Shushruta times. There was also a belief that disease was a form of God's punishment for the sins he or she commits. Ancient Indian doctors had a decent understanding about diabetes, tuberculosis and various other maladies affecting the mankind. The Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia 
was voluminous and usage of medications was liberal. Doctors were aware of the benefits of Rovalfia. Indian doctors were experts on snake bite treatment. Yoga developed alongside Ayurveda. Yoga constitutes a discipline of the body and the mind. Ancient doctors performed C-sections, lip, nose and ear lobe repairs, limb amputations, urinary bladder stone surgeries, etc. Surgical instruments like forceps, cautery, scissors, knives and similar 125 surgical instruments were at the disposal of the surgeons. Plastic surgeon Shishrita was an expert in plastic surgery repairs of the lip, nose, ear lobe. The physician included both surgery and medicine in his practice. Doctors, nurses, patients and medical students were an integral part of the medical care. Everyone was expected to strictly adhere to the higher standard of conduct and care. Society and laws of Manu during 2nd century BCE to 2nd century ACE were watching over the medical profession and doctors in general. Rational medical practices were often mixed with religious beliefs and magical rituals. Doctors took history examined patients, examined sputum, feces, urine, bile and vomitus of patients to arrive at diagnosis. The medical system, Ayurveda or knowledge of life or art of healing spread alongside Buddhism and reached all the countries of Southeast Asia. Charaka, Shishruta, Vagbhata and Madhava were some of the well-known medical scholars of ancient India. They not only treated the patients but also taught the medical students and wrote scholarly books and papers. Charaka was said to be an expert on medications whereas Shishruta was good with his surgical skills. And I am Dr. M. S. Patil, board certified diplomat, American College of Emergency Physicians. I am also a fellow of American Academy of Family Physicians.